Good morning. So every Sunday we uh, come, we come to church and we worship the Lord and we, we partake of uh, the communion here. And I very often when I'm doing my thoughtful time uh, in between communion, uh, the taking of the cup and the bread, I often focus on uh, the hope that Jesus gives us um, through his death and his resurrection. And um, in Romans chapter five, it talks about that hope. Uh, and I'll basically start in Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and following until I stop reading. I, <clears throat> um, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into his grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrated his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So God, so Jesus did not die for a perfect person. He died for us. He died for sinners. He died to um, wash away our sins and to, to give us that hope of eternal life with him someday in heaven. So I'd really like us to, to ponder those things as we partake of uh, the cup first, and then we'll pray again and partake of the bread the other way around. We'll take, they'll take the bread first and then the cup. Sorry. <laughs> Let's pray.